colleagues by wishing you a very good summer recess and uh, your, uh, your excellent staff around the house, uh, everyone on these benches wishes you well for the, for the summer recess. And also I'd like to congratulate England's women for their resounding win over Scotland last night. A 6-0 result um, was, was excellent. Uh, we put up a good fight but unfortunately it wasn't enough uh, on this occasion. And I thank the Secretary of State for advance sight of her statement. Uh, she will be aware of my very specific constituency concern uh, around this, that, that Sky is the largest private employer and uh, my constituents who work at, at Sky will want to know that any deal is properly scrutinised and that their jobs will be secure for the future. Mr Speaker, three weeks ago the Ofcom report stated the public had serious concerns about the concentration of media ownership in fewer and fewer hands. We share the public's concern over this and the dilution of diversification of media content. At the time we welcomed the fact the Secretary of State was minded to refer this to the Competitions and Market Authority on the grounds of diminishing plurality in the UK media and we still believe that this would have bolstered public confidence and should uh, very much go forward. While we welcome the Secretary of State coming to the House and delivering her statement, we're very disappointed that there has been no final decision. We understand that the need to examine representations from all parties, the fact that a decision will likely be made during summer recess, it speaks to a, a developing pattern, Mr Speaker, that we have seen during the election with major decisions being made, and it is not good governance. It means it's been kicked into the long grass, and members and this House will not get an opportunity to scrutinise a decision. The committees of the House are yet to sit, and that, you know, there should be an opportunity uh, for those committees, relevant committees, to scrutinise any decision made. Recognising the plurality and transparency within the media should be one of the Secretary of State's key motivations, but it seems that decision will not be subject to maximum transparency in terms of, of telling the House. So given it looks as if she's running away from scrutiny, can she commit to making a decision when the House is back over summer recess so we can properly scrutinise the deal? Yeah. Mr Speaker, can I join the Honourable Lady in congratulating England women? I, I, I'm disappointed for her sake that the wearing of the football shirt did not produce the, the luck she was hoping for for Scotland women, but as an England woman I am delighted to see the result. Um, the, the Honourable Lady I know has the constituency interest with uh, Sky being the largest employer in her constituency and I too want to make sure that this merger is properly scrutinised and dealt with so that we can have uh, certainty for employees like hers. Um, but when she says that we uh, have shied away from uh, taking decisions with full scrutiny, it, this is simply not the case. For example, I had originally asked Ofcom to report to me on in May, and I delayed that so that I could make sure I came to the House when Sky reported, rather than it being during the election campaign. I had hoped to be here today making a final decision, but the, very, the sheer volume of, of representations, all of which I need to go through, despite the fact that a very, very large number are an identical campaign email, um, means that I just cannot make that decision today. But I do have to make that decision in, in short, in, in due with due consideration of time because there are parties to the merger and this is, it is important for them and for all concerned that a decision is taken. Of course it's also I think the Secretary of State's first appearance at the box.